Hello everyone, Turtleaxe here bringing you another AFK Journey video. Now about an hour ago, Farlight Games dropped on their Twitter feed a hint as to the next Raid Up Hero. And it is this cat lady here who we see before us in a beautiful green and gold dress, relaxing on the grass and Dolly's waving hi to her. So who is this lady? Well. For those of you guys who played the main story, you already know who she is. She is none other than Linnea, who was actually very pivotal in the main story. At the time when she was first revealed, I didn't think that she would be a raid-up hero. However, I did think that she was definitely one of the better des designed NPCs. And as it turns out, any well-designed NPC is likely a raid-up hero, as I have learned today. So who is Linnea? Without spoiling too much of the story, basically what happens in the final portion of the Song of Strife season is that, you know, when we return back to Hollowstone, we run into Lily Mae, who mm, I don't know why, but we became very suspicious of her. I think mainly because she wasn't really cooperating with us uh, and she didn't really know much about herself and she seemed kind of like a, a quirky character, if you will. Uh, at the time, we didn't know that she was brainwashed, but um, yeah, Lily Mae, we're interrogating her for whatever reason and she's not cooperating and and she you know clearly doesn't like us either and then Lenia shows up in Hollowstone and I forget why she's there but she does introduce herself in a very confident dare I say pompous and spicy way I say spicy because the way she talks to the magister is very like she clearly is you know showing her charm and uh you know when Linnea does say that she is from the Dark Forest, uh, the same region early on that we visited where Granny's from, right? So Linnea, I think, most likely is going to be a Wilder Faction hero uh, just from because of where she's from. And Linnea, you know, she starts off as a very confident lady. You know, that, that's the, the, the personality that she shows us initially. And she's still very confident, but then when she talks to Lily Mae, you know, she shows her motherly side as well. So she's a very multi-dimensional character. Um, and she's actually very intelligent, actually. She, um, I think early on, as soon as she sees Lily Mae, she thinks, oh, where have I seen her before? But, un, un, you know, she's not like an airhead. She keeps her thoughts to herself. Uh, because her main goal is to earn the trust of Lily Mae, find out more about her. I think Lenya was trying to help Lily Mae all along, you know, and uh, and she does, actually. Um, it takes a while for us to earn Lily Mae's trust. I mean, I think we take her in and then she escapes, and then Lenya helps us with getting her back and finding out more about Lily Mae's past. But anyways, I digress. So Lenya, definitely, if you've watched her main story, uh, she's a very cool character, very intelligent character. Uh, and um, so when do I think she'll be released? I mean, if they're dropping a hint right now, she's likely going to be released this week. And that makes a lot of sense because when we go into the game here, as you can see here, Lily Mae's banner will be going away this Thursday, September 5th. So in about four days, 10 hours. And I anticipate what will happen is that continuing the trend of double banners, which which they started ever since the Asia server launch, I think what will happen is that Nicola will stay for an, another week and then Lenya will be the next raid up hero. Uh, so uh, how do I feel about this? I, I know how my Discord server uh, viewers feel about it. Um, I think some people have expressed to me, even before this, this post was dropped, that Lenny, that um, the game is dropping heroes too quickly and people are starting to skip heroes even more than before. So before we skipped heroes because they were not interesting to us, but now a lot of people are skipping heroes because they just ran out of raid up tickets and diamonds. And you know, a lot of people who summon for Lily Mae don't have the means to you know, build a Mikola. Maybe they're summoning two or three copies of Mikola, but that's the best they can do. And now Lenya is being revealed for to be potentially released this week. And I think people are, uh, I anticipate will be a little bit more upset because they're like, oh my God, a third waifu in the row. Why is the game doing this to us when we went through such a long dry spell, you know, of no waifus? And uh, if she turns out to be meta defining, I think this is going to be a huge test of, of will for people you know, to control themselves and not, you know, dip into their wallets. Because uh, Lenya is definitely waifu material. If we go through the definition, the unspoken definition of waifus, I think Lenya definitely, you know, does all the check marks on the check mark list. So 
for what a waifu for who a waifu is. So, um, for me personally, I'm really excited for Lenya's release. I will be getting her to Supreme Plus. I will get her to EX5. We will play test her. I'm hoping she's meta defining, maybe not to the same extent as Lily Mae and Mikola, because as one person pointed out, uh, I think on another content creator's video. I think Lenya, they think that Lenya is most likely going to be an A rank, and I do have to agree. I think that Lenya gives A rank vibes. You know, if, if you kind of compare Lenya to someone like Entendre, Entendre is clearly a very powerful character, but she's not like meta defining, you know. You're, you're glad to have her on your account for the faction tower and stuff, and maybe the early days of AFK stage pushing, but we don't really use uh, Entendre much later, and Lenya might be the same case. I mean, Farlight Games, they did say that A ranks will continue to be a trend in rate up, uh, in rate up banners. Um, yeah, I don't know how the Asia servers will react to this, because you know, global servers, they reacted very strongly to Olmus being released because he was the second of back-to-back -back A ranks and he was the only raid up hero to summon for three whole weeks. But now that we have double banners, I think, I get the feeling that the Asia server will not complain, mainly because they're trying to summon more copies of Mikola. Uh, and, you know, with this game, uh, I think that the nice thing about AFK Journey is that even if they summon raid up heroes at a really fast pace, that's okay because there shouldn't be any FOMO for any raid up heroes given that they will all go in the wish list at the end once their banner is over, right? Like Lily Mae is going to be added to the wish list, which is going to be really awesome. I mean, you have such a powerful hero in the wish list now. Mikola will be added to the wish list later, and Lenya will be as well. So, anyways, uh, and then final thoughts regarding uh, her class. I have no idea who she what class she will be. I think one person on this on my Discord server said she would be a marksman. She wasn't holding any weapons, to my knowledge, in the main story, and I don't think she fought anyone, so I don't know who she could be. Personally, for just, you know, strengthening my account, I would want her to be the third Wilder support, which I think is a reasonable ask because Mikola is the third Mauler support, so I think, you know, Wilder having a third Wilder support I think would be pretty good. She could be another tank as well, you know, if they want are thinking about Entendre and want to, and are making Lenya like a wilder form of Entendre. I think her being a tank would actually be a, a welcome thing. You know, if we had another really good tank for Wilder, I think that would be awesome because Olmus is clearly showing he's really powerful. Granny is very powerful for certain situations, but I think having a more reliable Wilder tank who doesn't just straight up die when deficit pushing, I think would be really nice. Uh, and then... I think if she was a mage, that would be really awesome because uh, I think the success of Wilders hinges quite heavily on whether they are viable with Aeron. Because you're not going to create another Wilder team that doesn't have Aeron, right? Um, you're just not. And uh, the reason why Lily Mae was so good was not only was her kit broken, but she was also a magic damage dealer who could take advantage of Aeron's 55% magic defense shred. So slotting an, a Lily Mae into an, an Aeron comp was just smooth as butter, you know? Uh, so I'm really hoping that Lenya, actually, if Lenya was a magic tank, that would be really cool because Granny is a physical tank. I think Olmus is also a physical tank. So if Lenya was our first magic tank, that would be really cool. Or if she was a mage, that would be even better. Even though I know we have a lot of mages already in the Wilder faction, but I don't think there's anything wrong with me making Wilder a mage heavy, you know, uh, faction because at the end of the day, the more uses we have for Lenya in team comps, the I think that's a positive. So, uh, of course, if she was a summoner like Florabelle, that would be really cool. I mean, Lenya is motherly, so you know, if she had some, like, if we saw like some foxes all of a sudden that she summons, that would be pretty cool. Although probably not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think of Lenya. Are you excited that she's being released? Personally, I am, and I'm glad that the third hero in a row is also a waifu. It'd be nice if it was just waifus all the way through. I would be very happy with that. Or husbandos for, you know, people who, who want husbandos as well. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.